Welcome to the second installment of the Client Success Webinar Series. If you're new to these series, they will be taking place on the third Wednesday of every month, and we will be covering a range of topics including SEO, social media, and content marketing. Today's topic is on understanding the Google Hummingbird Update. Just a few points about me. My name is Crystal Wilshire. I'm a Client Success Manager here at G-Shift. I have just over nine years experience in corporate marketing. I'm the office social media official addict. Anyone here can vouch for that. In my spare time, I'm also a blogger and a social influencer for brands and, and companies, uh, which basically means I enjoy this stuff so much when I go home, I keep doing it. And I am your typical busy mom. In today's agenda, we're going to cover what is the Hummingbird update, what impact is this update having on web presence and SEO, how to implement the Hummingbird uh, focus strategies into your content marketing going forward. The outcome from this presentation is to help you better understand and react to Google's Hummingbird update. The presentation will take approximately 15 to 20 minutes. So just a little bit about G-Shift. We make it simple for brands to be massively discovered in a social and mobile world. We're processing billions of data points for over 10,000 brands across 22 countries. All right, so what is Hummingbird? The Hummingbird update is a recent algorithm update from Google, which was released in August of 2013 and announced to the public in September. So basically, they kind of had it running in stealth mode for one month before actually letting anybody know that it had taken place. Unlike previous updates such as Penguin or Panda, Hummingbird marks the first time that the leading search engine has made a complete overhaul of their algorithm in 12 years. This update focuses on long tail phrases that are more natural and often need-based. Uh, Google referred to this as conversational search or semantic search. For instance, where can I find Thai food in Barry? The phrase is more specific to the full need of the searcher as opposed to simply searching Thai food Barry. As with most recent Google updates, this change was implemented to improve the quality of results for the searcher. With more and more Google users getting very specific with their, their queries, Hummingbird was created to give the user a more natural search experience. One likely driving force behind this update has been the increase in, in voice-based searches of mobile devices. Think of using the voice command feature on your smartphone and how detailed you can be when you do your voice search. This update gives Google the ability to become more intuitive of a search engine in the respect that the search results will be based on Google's ability to find the meaning behind the words. The best example of this was taken directly from a Google interview with the phrase, where is the closest place to buy an iPhone 5 to my home? Hummingbird should be able to identify your home if location has been shared, the fact that you're looking for a physical place versus an online store, and that you're looking for that physical place that sells iPhone 5s. So this is just a, a couple images here to show the differences in the types of searches. So this is a, a textual search and you can see it just says flower store in Toronto and you can see what kind of results it's brought up as opposed to a conversational search where you said I'm looking for a flower shop in Toronto and you can see it brings up much uh, clearer results in terms of location based uh, actually shows you businesses and where they're located and, and that sort of thing. So what is Hummingbird's impact on web presence optimization and search engine optimization? So in short, Hummingbird has actually had very little impact on the basic principles of web presence and search engine optimization. The rules of the game have, that have evolved over the past two years basically remain the same. You still need to be focused more on creating good quality content uh, that is written for the visitor and not so much the search engine. Unlike previous updates, Google has made it very clear that few businesses will see a direct change in their traffic as a result of Hummingbird. Maybe some have, but it is very unlikely. Following the theme of the last two years, old school methods of SEO are even less effective with Hummingbird. Basically, this again is enabling Google to become a more intuitive about the piece of content uh, and ensures that strategies such as keyword stuffing are truly not needed anymore. So implementing Hummingbird. First step is identifying uh, Hummingbird friendly phrases. Determining the right uh, Hummingbird friendly phrase around a specific keyword can be tricky. 
Start by selecting a keyword from your current pool and think about how a searcher might phrase a statement or a question around that term. You need to get inside the head of your consumer or prospect. If you were searching for your product or service, what phrase would you use? You may find that there are multiple conversational searches around one keyword. That's not a problem. It will all boil down to how you write your content around them, which we'll get into in a minute. So here are some hummingbird examples. So this is just one exercise that I've done using a few keywords that we optimize for here at G-Shift for our own company. And you can see what the correlated hummingbird friendly phrase could look like. And again, you, you know, there could be multiple around each keyword, but this gives you an idea. So we look at something like agency branding features and the, the corresponding phrase to that might be find a software that offers branded features, agency branded features, or backlinks SEO. How do backlinks impact SEO? So as opposed to just being the plain keyword, we actually look at a need-based or conversational-based phrase. So looking at implementing SEO for Hummingbird. First up, looking at the on-site optimization for Hummingbird. The basics of how you want to optimize for your focus keywords has essentially not changed. You are not specifically going to use, likely, a Hummingbird keyword phrase in your HTML title, for instance. However, you want to ensure that you write the page content with that phrase in mind. The page can be optimized with base keywords placed in the SEO fundamental locations. However, you want the body of the page to answer the greater need-based question that your prospect might have in mind. If you've written the content to answer those conversational search terms and provide real value to the searcher, Google should be able to determine that and rank you accordingly. Uh, one of the, the key things that we've talked about with, with Hummingbird is adding an FAQ section to your site. This can be a great way to directly address Hummingbird friendly phrases. Where possible, add content pages for the answers to your FAQs uh, in order to expand the answer and give a little more content behind them. So again, in looking at Hummingbird, uh, just want to look back at the hierarchy of web presence optimization. So again, this really, uh, the fundamentals of this has not changed. You're going to start off with your competitive research and your keyword research. When you're doing your keyword research, one of the things that you now want to keep in mind when with the Hummingbird update is, sure, you want to find your base keywords, uh, you know, very basic phrases, two to three words uh, or more that that just talk about your business, but then you want to identify what a conversation or, or semantic search would also look like that corresponds to that keyword. And then you do your competitive research. Next you look at your technical SEO foundations and fundamentals. So again, these, these haven't really changed. You're going to put the, the base keyword into your HTML title. You're going to write your meta descriptions the same, you're going to put your H1s kind of the same with that, that keyword in the phrase whenever possible in a way that makes sense to the, to the viewer. Optimize content uh, and, and an ongoing marketing plan, this is where Hummingbird really starts to come into play. So when you're actually looking at the base content of a page or a blog post or something else like that that you're putting out there, that's when you really want to start to think about, okay, what, what question is somebody asking when they're looking for our product or service and does this piece of content answer that. From there of course you move into publishing and socializing and sharing, putting it out there making sure that you know you're getting social signals off of that piece of content and then of course there's the benchmarking and reporting and improving so just judging your ROI and making tweaks wherever need be. Alright so in light of Hummingbird and in light of this webinar we are offering a special promotion. First package is to do a basic keyword hummingbird audit for your top 15 to 20 keywords. So we're going to review your primary keywords and give you an example of a corresponding hummingbird friendly phrase for each one. You can then take that data and start to look at your marketing efforts and making sure that when you're writing content around that keyword that you're, you've got your hummingbird friendly phrase in mind as well. We figure this would take about two hours to do. The next step from that would be an on-site audit of your top 10 pages. This would take approximately three hours. And that's to review your top 10 web pages to ensure that the content does answer the hummingbird phrases that we've identified in, in the first part of the package there. So this promotion expires March 5th, 2014. You can contact either your client success manager or sales at gshiftlabs.com for more details on that. 
If you have any questions about any of the information that we've shared in this presentation, please feel free to contact myself or your client success manager. My email is located there below. You can also just contact sales directly um, and we can help you figure out any additional information that you, you think you might need. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really hope that you found it useful and that you're leaving with a much better understanding of Hummingbird and how you can make the most of this Google update in your web presence optimization and content marketing moving forward. Next month's webinar, the topic is Make Smarter SEO and Content Marketing Decisions with G-Shift Data. The presenter will be Jeff Riddell, who is another one of our client success managers, and that will be taking place on March 19th at 1 p.m. So keep a, a watch out on your emails for that, uh, for the registration for that. Thank you again. Take care.